Salter Labs, a world leader in providing quality respiratory care products, has produced this short video to assist you in following your aerosol treatment plan. Your doctor has recommended taking your respiratory medication with a compressor nebulizer system that delivers aerosolized medications directly to your lungs for the most effective treatment possible. Your home health care supplier has chosen to provide you with a rugged Salter Air Plus compressor and a Salter Labs highly efficient number 8900 small volume nebulizer. This video will show you how to use this highly effective system. The Salter Air Plus compressor provides air pressure to your nebulizer and turns the liquid medication in the nebulizer into a fine mist for you to breathe. Preparing your compressor for use. To start, place your Salter Air Plus compressor on a hard flat surface such as a tabletop near to an electrical outlet. Make sure that the air vents on the bottom and back of the compressor are not blocked. Never set the compressor on a pillow or padded surface that could interfere with airflow to the unit. Uncoil the electrical cord attached to the rear of the compressor and plug it directly into an appropriate outlet. Never use an extension cord to supply power to your compressor. You should check the air filter on your compressor at least once per month. To do so, locate the filter cap on the front of the compressor. Insert a large coin into the slot on the filter cap. With the coin inserted into the slot, turn the coin and the filter cap counterclockwise approximately one half turn until the filter cap disengages from the front of the compressor. Remove the filter and the cap. Carefully inspect the filter, looking for dirt or significant discoloration in the middle of the filter. If this is apparent, discard the old filter and replace it with one of the extra filters supplied with your compressor. If you don't have a supply of these, contact your home health care supplier to obtain additional filters. To replace a filter, place the new filter in the filter cap holder. Place the filter cap with the new filter into the opening on the front of the compressor. Now turn the filter cap clockwise with a large coin until the cap is tight. Preparing your nebulizer for use. Remember to always wash your hands before setting up or using your nebulizer. The Salter number 8900 small volume nebulizer kit is packed with your Salter Air Plus compressor and is the unit that you should be using for maximum benefit from your medication. You should replace this nebulizer kit as directed by your supplier. The handheld nebulizer uses air from the compressor to turn the liquid medication that your doctor prescribed into a very fine mist that you can breathe. Open the plastic bag containing your number 8900 nebulizer kit and identify the contents. The kit should include a handheld nebulizer that holds the medication during treatment and turns it into a fine mist. A T adapter, a plastic mouthpiece through which the medication mist is delivered. A 6 inch corrugated tube a seven foot long air supply tube. Pick up the handheld nebulizer with one hand, grasping the clear bottom section of the unit. With your other hand, grasp the top, opaque part of the nebulizer, and rotate the top in a counterclockwise direction. The top will disengage from the bottom. Set the top aside. Make sure that the green, funnel-shaped cone is securely in place in the bottom of the nebulizer unit with the small end of the cone facing up. Hold the bottom of the nebulizer, or what might be called the medication cup, in one hand. 
With your other hand, add your medication, as directed by your healthcare provider, into the cup along the side of the green cone. Try to add the medication along the inside of the cup to prevent it from going down the hole in the green cone. Now, replace the top of the nebulizer to the medication cup, and then rotate the top in a counterclockwise direction. The top will engage the medication cup. If you are planning to use a mouthpiece to take your aerosol treatment, first, attach the tea adapter to the nebulizer by inserting the outlet on the top of the nebulizer to the inlet port on the tea adapter. This is the opening with three plastic rings. Now, slide the tea adapter firmly onto the nebulizer. Connect one end of the six inch corrugated tube over the smaller diameter end of the T adapter. This tube stores excess aerosolized medication between inhalations to minimize medication waste and to improve the effectiveness of your treatment. Place the round end of the mouthpiece into the other end of the T adapter. Continue by attaching one end of the air supply tube to the green nipple outlet on the front of the compressor. Both ends of this tube are the same. With the nebulizer filled and resting in the compressor docking station, attach the other end of the air supply tube to the nipple outlet on the bottom of the nebulizer cup. To turn your compressor on, press the rocker switch on the front of the unit. After a few moments, your compressor and nebulizer will be delivering a fine mist which you will inhale to get the medication directly into your lungs. If you are using the mouthpiece for your treatment, place the mouthpiece between your teeth and close your mouth and inhale deeply. Hold your breath for several seconds and exhale slowly. Continue this until there is no liquid remaining in the medication cup. Breathe through your mouth, not your nose. This will get the medication deep into your lungs where it can do the most good. Take two or three slow, deep breaths between normal breaths. Continue this until there is no liquid remaining in the medication cup. If you must stop your treatment before all the medication in the nebulizer is depleted, simply turn off your compressor and return the nebulizer to the docking station on the front of the unit. Usually a treatment will last from six to eight minutes. When the treatment is finished, the mist will stop. It might be helpful to tap on the side of the medication cup once or twice to ensure that all of the medication is utilized. When finished, turn off your unit by pressing the rocker switch on the front of the compressor and return the nebulizer to the docking station. Both adult and pediatric style Salter aerosol delivery masks are available separately from your healthcare supplier. These attach in place of a mouthpiece, T adapter, and corrugated tube to the handheld nebulizer. With small children, an adult should always supervise the setup and use of the compressor and the nebulizer. If you will be using either an adult or pediatric aerosol mask for your treatment, assemble, fill your nebulizer, and connect it to the compressor as previously discussed. Then, connect the mask to the nebulizer by sliding the inlet port on the mask into the outlet on the top of the nebulizer. Your nebulizer mask assembly is now ready for use. Simply turn on your compressor. After a few moments, your compressor and nebulizer will be delivering a fine mist which you will inhale to get the medication deeply into your lungs. When using a mask for treatments, you can hold it up to your face with one hand 
placing it securely over your nose and mouth and inhale deeply. Hold your breath for several seconds and exhale slowly. Continue this until there is no liquid remaining in the medication cup. All salt or aerosol masks have a strap which you can place over and behind your head to hold the mask and nebulizer in place during your treatment. As long as the medication cup is upright, you can use your salt or nebulizer in virtually any position, even in Grandpa's favorite recliner. Your nebulizer must be cleaned between treatments. To do so, disassemble all the parts. Do not wash or rinse the supplied tubing. After taking your nebulizer apart, wash all of the parts in warm, soapy water. Rinse the parts in clear water and ensure that all soap residue is removed. Air dry the parts on a paper towel. We hope this presentation helped explain how to follow your aerosol treatment plan and properly use your Salter Air Plus compressor and nebulizer. If you have any further questions, please speak with your physician or healthcare supplier.